Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy Travis back again here at Big Boy Toy Reviews and today we are taking a look at another Marvel Legends. Uh, this time we are taking a look at the X-Men 97 Magneto. And uh, yes, if it looks like he is doing the Michael Jackson lean because he is because this cape is way too heavy and he's almost impossible to stay in at least my copy is and so <clears throat> uh, let's uh, I'm already upset with this figure just so y'all yeah, know uh, here's the packaging there's not much to it it's pretty much like the other um, the other the other packaging I have for Wolverine. So that's it for the packaging. Um, yeah, this guy sucks. <laughs> He's not great. Um, just look at him. Look at him. He is like super dangly and long. His, his legs are super skinny. His upper body is not terrible, but it looks too big for his legs. Uh, he is, um, he has like shiny bits up here. I'm pretty sure that's, that should be painted. Um, and his cape is like a mat. The cape isn't bad. It's not terrible. It's not the worst cape. It's just really heavy. Um, his head does seem to be sitting a bit high, uh, but that could just be my perspective. Uh, it could be fine, it could be fine, but I really hate his legs. His legs are just so skinny, and they actually kind of make his legs look like they're old. The wrinkles that they're supposed to be, it's supposed to be like his suit, kind of just make him look, just make him look like he's just old and wrinkled. Where he's like a matte, he's like a mattish, like sheen here, and then he's shiny up here. I, I I don't know what that doesn't make any sense to me. And he's super skinny. He's not. He's not really. I mean, there's muscular. There's musculature there, but it's not great. There's no shading in it. There's no. There's not a wash to bring out the muscles. His arms are super skinny. Um, I don't know what buck this is. Um, it's a pinless buck, so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's some, it's something new. Um, because his legs are also pinless. I don't know what character this came from, but I don't like it. He's, his legs are just way too skinny. Um, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's just get a close-up. I'll show you. So, his face is a little bit weird. Um, he has like, I don't, I don't get it. Let me just pop this off. His head doesn't look like Magneto inside of it. It looks like some white guy. This looks like some white guy. His, his, uh, Lips are super like pink and kind of weird looking. You can you can move this out the way. Uh, that doesn't look like Magneto to me. I could be tripping, but that just doesn't look like a look like him to me. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be painted something else. I could be wrong. On the box, it's painted. It's it's still red, so maybe it's supposed to be red. So I could be wrong. Um, uh, I guess he does look like the 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 box art because he does have those weird pink lips on the box too. Um, on the card, anyway, the card back. So I guess maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't particularly like it. Uh, I think it looks weird, but if that's what the artwork looks like, then I guess I guess it's good. I guess it's, as long as it's accurate, 
I guess it's good. Um, yeah, there's no shading anywhere. Uh, the paint um, in places are typical, you know, issues. It's not great here. Uh, it's okay here again, like a matte color, and this is a little bit more shiny, but it's definitely not as shiny as it is up here. So that's weird to me. Uh, the boots, I guess, are fine for Marvel Legends. It's fine. But for the price point, no. No. And uh, and because he, he basically comes with nothing for accessories. So let's get to that because there's nothing. So you see the two hands that he comes with there. And then he comes with two more fist hands. So he has two more fist hands and that's it for accessories. No magnetic uh, uh, special effects or effect pieces. No extra maskless head. Um, yeah. Uh, it's it's not great. It's not great. For accessories, it's terrible. Um, a pair of hands and no magnetic effects. Like, no magnetic, none. No magnetic, magnetic effects. Nothing to show off his power set. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. It absolutely makes no sense to me. You telling me, this is, this is, this is what you're telling me. You can charge $25, $27 with tax for this figure that comes with a pair of fists, but somehow this guy also the same price that at least comes with the cowl, an extra head, and some fists. Somehow these are equal prices? What makes them equal prices? And don't even get me started on this chick. All right? This chick, granted, I got her for super cheap, but her regular price is tw was $27, I think, and then with taxes, you call it $28, $29, maybe $30. You tell she came with so many accessories. So many. I can argue this figure is easily $30 to $35 for this figure with the accessories, with all the accessories she get and how good she she is. How is he $25, $27? I don't I don't I don't know. I don't get it. Where where is the cost going? Oh, don't end up. We're, we're, we'll get to the articulation here because he's a floppy fucking mess, too. So, yeah, let's just go over it now. Sid, let's see if we can get his head to go up. All right, his head goes up that far, it goes down that far. Again, it's on a regular, stupid, non double, double ball peg peg, and so it's not going to move side to side hardly at all. His shoulders, not horribly loose, but those will easily be loose over time. They get up that far. Bicep swivel, hinge wrist. His eye crunch, a, a floppy mess. He goes back this far, he goes forward this far. He's a floppy mess. And this cape doesn't help. He gets his leg up that high. Biceps, or excuse me, not bicep, thigh swivel. Uh, past 90 degrees on the on the legs there. So I guess the legs are fine. Uh, they go down that far, up that far, and there's a very steep, very steep ankle rocker. So that'll be fun to pose. That'll be real fun to pose. So there's no boot swivel or anything there. So yeah, that's the articulation. He's, uh, do I even want to do comparisons for this dude? I mean, you know, oh fuck. I guess I'll do right, Here are the comparisons I'm gonna, I'm gonna make here. Here's um, the Jim Lee, more Jim Lee style. 
Magneto. I'm not gonna take him off the stand. I'm not gonna unpose him. He's not worth me doing all that. And then we have the Age of Apop Apocalypse Magneto. So it's not a fair comparison because these figures are leagues better than this guy, but. And that's it for comparisons. All right, so in conclusion, this guy sucks. If you got a Magneto already, don't buy this one. He's not good, he's a mess. I don't know if they're on all, all the Magneto figures, but he's, he's not good, he's not any good. So anyway, with that being said, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.